everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for today's episode. It's a good one, and it's one that I've had a lot of questions from the viewers out there wanting to know about. So I figured we'd touch base on it, and the topic today is really an interesting one. It's when do you throw a football jig versus a swing head jig, otherwise known as a biffle head, or you know, in this case, this is a dirty jig's pivot point. When do you choose the jig over the swing head jig? And it's a pretty good question, and it's one where I've got very specific times I prefer to choose one over the other. And before I get into that, guys, I do want to remind you guys that if you want to support the channel, you can buy one of my uh, Smallmouth Braveheart shirts located in my store. You can click on it. It's in the description. Uh, that helps support the channel, helps promote the channel, and it's a pretty cool shirt design. I really love them. So guys, if you're looking to support the channel, that's a great way to do it. Also, go to fishthemoment.com and look at our lake breakdowns that myself, Randy Blockett, and Johnny have all been doing. Uh, if you've got a lake that you want help breaking down, this is a great way to do it. I've got northern lakes that I cover for smallmouth and largemouth, as well as southern smallmouth lakes. So if you're looking just for some help in the smallmouth world, go to fishthemoment.com check out our lake breakdown section. The, uh, the link is in my description as well. And guys, if you're looking to catch fish, no matter where you're at around the country, these are two fantastic baits. Uh, but I'll tell you what, they are not necessarily interchangeable. You know, I know the build on them is pretty similar, especially when you're looking at like a swing head like this, has a foot, basically a football jig head on it. As you can see, very, very similar uh, you know, profile, they're just the football head jig. The biggest difference being that on a swing head or a biffle head or a pivot point jig, whatever you guys want to call it or know it by, uh, is the fact that the head is poured separate from the hook and therefore you get some motion out of it. So when you're reeling it, your bait kind of moves freely versus a skirted jig where you can see the hook is uh, poured right or the mo the lead is poured right on top of the the hook and therefore you get no motion out of it So the question is with a similar style head design When would you choose one over the other? And for me guys, it's pretty pretty basic uh, You know, it really comes down to a couple of things Do I know what I'm fishing meaning do I have a sweet spot that I want to really target on or am I going to try to cover water or am I fishing areas that are featureless and therefore I'm making more random casts? If I'm fishing an area that is more featureless and I don't necessarily have a target, so I don't have a rock pile or a log or a brush pile, something along those lines, I prefer to go with the swing head jig. And the reason for that is this is more of a crankbait to me. What I do with this is I make a long cast with this and for the most part, I, I straight retrieve it. I retrieve it at a very slow pace where my, where my bait is grinding on the bottom, similar to what you do with a football jig, but I'm not stopping this. I'm really retrieving it slowly. And while I'm doing that, it's clunking off rocks or off the bottom and your bait is kind of moving back and forth. So it's much more like a crankbait in that time period, in that, in that presentation. So I'm using this to try to locate fish. I'm using it to try to locate that sweet spot. Uh, it's just, it's a much better presentation to cover water. At the same time, it's really a finesse style presentation. You do not have the bulk that you'd have with a big football jig. Because of that, you're going to draw more strikes on your swing heads than you will on a football jig. It's just something that I've experienced over time. And, and one thing that I really like about these swing head jigs. If I'm throwing my football jig, <clears throat> I'm going to be really keying in on more specific targets. So if I got a brush pile or a rock pile, to me, what I'll do with this is I'll throw it out there and I'll just work it really slow once I know I'm in the right spot. I'm not going to be moving it. This swing head jig seems to work better on the retrieve as you're moving it because it is like a crankbait and you're generating reaction strikes. With the jig, for me, I'm trying to force feed them this a lot of times. I know if I can keep it in their strike zone for a longer period of time, my chances increase that I'm going to get that fish that I know lives 
in that specific spot to actually eat my bait. It's the, that's the difference really for these two baits for me. That's one of the biggest differences. The other has to do with what I'm fishing. <clears throat> if I'm fishing flats or do nothing banks, or you know just banks that do not drop really vertically quickly, I find that the swing head works better. If I'm covering water or fishing down a bank, that's much more vertical where you've got chunk rock or bluff rock or a bluff bank, that's when I prefer to throw the jig because again, the jig to me is a better bait that's just when it's sitting on the bottom like that, it draws more strikes. If I leave the swing head sitting on the bottom, it just kind of falls over versus with the jig, you get your tentacles, you get your skirt material, things are still moving. And a lot of times you can get those fish to come bite it when you're dead sticking it versus the swing head, you just don't seem to get as many. You, you, you get more on the, on the retreat, which is why if I'm fishing a bank that's very vertical, the swing head doesn't work quite as well because it's falling more than, than it is coming in horizontally back to the boat. And because it's falling more, I'm not necessarily getting that same crankbait style motion out of it. If I'm going to be retrieving it slowly to the point where I'm not even moving it to keep it on the bottom, at that point, I would rather go with the jig. Another big difference for me in the two is the species of bass that I'm fishing for. If I'm fishing for smallmouth and spotted bass, the swing head really seems to generate more strikes. If I'm fishing for largemouth, I feel like the football jig gives me a better shot at catching a big fish. So, you know, it, I don't know if it has to do again with the fact that spots and smallmouth generally run a little smaller and they got smaller mouths and they prefer to eat smaller objects, but it seems like a swing head works better for smallmouth and spotted bass. I generate more strikes of those two species versus when I'm fishing largemouth, I feel like the football jig is every bit as good at getting numbers of bites as well as quality in terms of size of bite. So that's a big factor as well for me. The last thing has to do with versatility. If, again, if I don't know that I have a specific sweet spot that I'm fishing, so I don't have, you know, a lay down tree or a boulder, something that I, you know, I really want to slowly work my jig around, it becomes more versatile or I'm more efficient by throwing the swing head. And the one thing that I like about it is I can change baits easily. So for a swing head, you know, this is the Berkeley Boss Grub. Great bait for the swing head. It's very similar to like that Strike King Menace, which is a great bait on the swing head. But I can easily switch this over to a swim bait or a creature bait or pretty much any plastic that I want. And it gives me more versatility in terms of changing my baits versus the jig where you're pretty much just going to choose some sort of trailer. You know, it, it gives me the ability to quickly make a simple change and pretty much change my entire presentation, even though I'm still using a swing head. So if you're looking to cover lots of water, you don't know what the fish are eating yet. Again, that swing head gives you the, a better uh, opportunity to make a simple change to give the fish a whole different presentation versus the jig, which is a jig. I mean, you know, you're not going to really change the bait much and get a whole different presentation on your football jig. So for me, guys, like I said, there are very clear times when I prefer to throw a swing head versus a football jig. And it has to do with uh, steepness of bank, whether I know where the fish are located and type of fish that I'm, uh, type of bass that I'm fishing for. I feel like those are very specific factors for me that over my time, my experience, I have found the, the swing head to excel in some circumstances and the football jig to excel in other circumstances. In either case, they are both really, really good baits. They can be interchangeable, but there are definitely times one is better than the other in my opinion. So I hope this was helpful, guys. If it was, hit that like button, share it on your social media pages, and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. Thanks for watching.